Now I'm going to go out of Snow's Fortress. I do not have anything else to do in here. I'm going to go up onto the roof. And, uh... Yeah, I want full health. Kind of bitchy to have to use humanity as healing item. Uh, but I don't want to go back. Now, see this? Yeah. To fix this, just step on and then retreat. Do not try to cross. I did cross once using a shield, but it's risky, so yeah. No. no. Now, that this is the second to last pendulum blade bridge. And it's the only one you're actually supposed to just just leg it. Just run across. The other ones you're not supposed to just run across. Now, there are a total of three guys near here. And, ah. Okay, but if you're careful, you should not aggro. Do not drop down that hole. And I've forgotten I had my S stock equipped. Now, the important thing here is to kill them off one by one without aggroing the others. Because if you don't, eh, you're gonna get flanked and die horribly. It's not fun. And we have. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, like large Titanite shards. Well, hey, they're good. Eh, uh, good. You really realize. Uh, I, I realized myself when I started playing more characters than just my first that the types of Titanite that are important to you change greatly depending on your character. For example, my. Um, my uh, strength character. Oh, shit, right, I remember that now. Let's give him a fucking soul spear in the face. Come on. Now, this one, it kind of looks like you should just run across, but don't. I did that mistake, uh, actually, while recording Sense Fortress for the first time. Now, there are two pressure blades here, which means that you can trigger that trap twice. This is just simply do this, and if you, the enemy drops an item or you want to melee him, you can come back here. But anyway, and they can drop down there for quick access. But hey, yeah, don't. And finally, on the roof of Sense Fortress. Now I actually have this recorded with my main character, but without commentary. So. I'm just gonna go to the, you know, do this, the rooftops as well with my sort of character. Not the boss. Well, yeah, yeah, you tr yeah. Now, see that? That's a giant throwing five giant firebombs at you. So you need to get to this bonfire. Oh, I can level up. I'm just level uh, 47. Nice. Uh, I should really get my vitality up a bit. Attunement. Uh, no, I'm not. A, uh, that's uh, 18. I don't need more endurance since I have the quick weight I want. I don't need that. Uh, so I might as well just continue building my. Uh, oh, my magic is just. That, is that my mat? No, that's my. That's my S stock for fuck's sake, yeah. And once you hit the bonfire, you can simply go back here, and then go back out. Now the key with the firebomb throwing bastard is to not... Uh, oh, I thought there was an item back here. Yeah, is to uh, look for the spots on the ground that are blackened, and run past them. And there's some of these uh, bald knights, uh, but they're a bit buffed, so... Yeah, they take a bit of uh, a beating. Anyway, there's uh, just uh, I think it's the 
flamestone plate ring down here. I'm not... Oh, pillage the body. Titanite shard. I would like a boulder side sword. To... Yes, flamestone plate ring. If anti-fire item, basically. Now, there's basically uh, four rings like that. They have... Well, five if you count the fleckled. Uh, there's the steel, ring of steel protection, the flamestone plate, the, bl the blue stone plate, and the thunderstone plate, I think. Or is it lightning stone plate? Well, basically, one responding to each facet of your defense. Then there's the fleckled stone plate ring, which. Um, the fleckled stone plate the ring that which gives protection from a magic, fire, lightning. All three, but not that much for each. Basically, it's more of a oh. And then there's this guy, these tower knights, our shield guys, who have one of my favorite armor sets in the game. And uh, they didn't drop them, but you can buy them from a merchant close to here. And uh, is a steel armor set. It's yeah, I have it on my, uh, my uh, strength character that I'm being kind of, you know, shadowing, ghosting my main play with. It's really nice. It's uh, really nice. And here we have Richard. And Richard is also a melee fighter who has a rapier. Richard's Rapier, which is a really decent weapon. I think it was it used to be this kind of overpowered anti-boss weapon. Um, I don't know if it has actually it's still, or if it's been nerfed. But anyway, I suddenly had the horrible apprehension my recording wasn't running, so hold on. Okay, yes, recording is running. And as you can see here, the chest's chains are pointing backwards, and as a result, they are not mimics. Well, not as a result of... Uh, yeah. As a result, you know they're not mimics. mimics. Uh, language. Thou hast eluded me again. Now, good view. A bit... I feel, it feels a bit low res, but... Uh, yeah. Still kind of cool looking. Looking out over the undead parish. Uh, I think down there somewhere's Blight Town probably. Yeah. Anyway, anywho, um we're going to go up. This is the secondary way. Go continue upwards, yes. Let's see here. Now the important thing is of course not to waste your sorcery because there's going to be a boss at the top of uh this place, so... What the hell did I do? My camera killed me again. Well, it wouldn't be sense fortress, fortress without a death or two. <laughs> yeah. Mm, annoying. Well, I don't know what the hell happened. It's kind of like, oh, my camera, wait, it's supposed to move. No, what the... Ah, and I was dead. Yeah. That's my life. Anyway, without that embarrassing. I, mean, I don't even know what the hell I did. Did I. Did I, did I go up? Where the hell did I even go? Did I run off here? I'm gonna have to check that because it just looked weird. Where the hell did I actually go? Anyway, Jesus! I had forgotten that was actually a spot where you could get hit. And I'm going to go meet this guy here. Son of a... Okay, fuck it. I am going to go kill the fire one. I didn't think he threw that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, it's not sense for with for breath for this. My mouth is dry. Without a few comical deaths. Although I die again, I'll, uh... 
Yeah, I'll be really funny if I die a few more times. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see, there's no score from up there, so I didn't remember if you could actually hit there. Yeah, I think he's just going to throw at that place now. I guess there's a guy over there, and there's, I think, a bit of treasure as well. Yeah, he's just going to throw there, so let's see, see if we can get him to throw somewhere else, or, alternatively... And, um, died in my chance, nice. Anyway, let's see where I are. Uh, oh, right, this place, isn't this, uh, oh, wait. Is this... Was this meant to be a place and they just didn't finish it or something? Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, okay, well that's weird. Let's see if he has a de aggro that spot on a walkway. Let's see if I can instead... There we go. This is the armor set I was talking about. You can buy it from this guy. Ah, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took my son's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul searching. Yeah, he buy you can buy some stuff from him. Black firebomb, green blossom, titanite shards, and large titanite shards. But don't buy them from him because he's a bit more expensive. Some weapons, some shields, just normal arrows. You can also buy the Katarina helm and the steel helm, or the steel uh, steel set and the boulder set, from it, as well as the two other stone plates. I'm not going to buy anything from him at the moment, because there's no point. Did he say something about being skinned alive? God damn it. Besides, aren't we dead? Shh. Shit. Okay, folks, let me see if I can do that again without being complete and utter incompetent moron. Well, okay, let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, I'm finding down here is the key to Logan's cage if you don't have the master key. But I thought it... I didn't think it was actually that deep stairwell. It's kind of like... Uh, I don't, people who have played this might know the feeling that uh, when you're kind of returning from the new London ruins and you assume that the elevator up to Filing Shrine... Uh, that is actually up. Uh, sorry, actually down when it's up. So you just run into the elevator shaft and fall to your death. Yeah, that has happened to me a few times. Yeah, the cage key. And, uh, oh, you can actually jump off here, but nothing to jump onto except a uh, death, the void. I know why I overemphasized the li. Anyway. Anyway, I will probably record myself fighting the boss. And uh, probably throw that in as some kind of bonus material. Shit, that's a bad angle, bad angle. Ah. Okay, an item I missed. Oh, the snipe. Oh, right. right. You're supposed to do that. Oh, good. I actually missed that in my main playthrough. Anyway, the snipe crossbow is shit, so don't bother using it at all. I mean, if you're going to use a crossbow, use. All oh, right, these guys. Use a light crossbow, or, or you know, at least a heavy crossbow. I don't. I, I, there's supposed to be a crossbow in the Duke's Arcades, which is a later game area, but I haven't actually found it. 
Uh, I don't know why. It's probably because I'm a complete not a moron. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the sniper crossbow, in my opinion at least, is shit because it has. Uh, it doesn't do that much more damage than a light crossbow. It's slower, and the requirements are high as fuck. And it's heavy as well. So, yeah, I'd uh, be honest, yeah, honestly, I pre prefer using, if I'm gonna use a crossbow at all, a light crossbow. You might, you know, use the heavy one. If you find the depth, I. Uh, I think I forgot to show that. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue the actual climb up to the boss area. And damn it, it was a long time since I last tried to fight the Iron Golem with magic. Ah, yeah. Huh, that's gonna be fun. Anyway. Continue past, don't panic, even though there's gold marks on the ground. I have Oh right, I don't have my magic quick. And there's this under the crossbow guy who will shoot you a bit, but he's not really that much of a problem. He's kinda cute actually. And damn the tower shaking. And what's in here? I have forgotten what's in here. What's in here? There's apparently nothing in here. That means... Wait, that means a hidden... What the hell am I using that? Wait a minute. Is there actually nothing in here? Then why the hell is this place even here? God damn it. Anyway, the yeah, the giant is throwing the fire bombs is up here, so you can go and say hi to him. And by hi, I mean throw a uh, greater soul arrow in his face. And he's actually kind of easy because he can't stand here, and I don't think he can actually. <clears throat> Okay, take two. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Uh, let's try not to fail that. Yeah, haha, <laughs> ass ball. Let's see if we can. No, that's actually not hitting him, is it? There we go. No shit, that's... Ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, I don't want to waste another. Okay, yeah, let's just stab him in the groin with my, uh... Let's talk. Now, he should leave tight my chunk. And these things here, you might think that... Oh shit, they'll explode. No, they won't. Even if you attack me with pyromancy, actually, so hey. But there's nothing up here, so go down. And we will have uh, the boss. The magnificent, the wonderful Iron Golem. Now, this guy is annoying in one way because he will. Yeah, do those kind of, you know. F pressure smash or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Wow. Son of a bitch! Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I also should mention that once the firebomb throwing giant is dead, it's dead. It doesn't respawn and you can just go up into the roof without any worries. Let's just freaking yeah, if you keep kinda to the left, the first... And... You actually can uh, dodge into him. But he has that grab attack, after which he will actually... 
Yes! It got off and I didn't take a single point of damage this time. Because I wasn't stupid enough to get knocked off the roof. Ah, uh, yeah. Also beware of getting stuck uh, far away from the golem during, down this path. Because what happened to me once was I was down here and the golem was just doing that kind of axe, air pressure, wave slash thingamajig, you know, sonic sonic boom, as Gal would say. And, uh, yeah, yes, cause I got locked into that and I couldn't get close enough to, to trigger the iron golem to actually use anything else. Anyway, I'll be going back to my main character after this, and this and this session here has actually been recorded after the next part. But, uh, yeah. You'll be seeing me go... I don't know if I... I yeah, I don't know. Because it was... I'll, I'll check the quality of my Anna Londo bit in... Uh, with my main character, because I was actually kind of cranky when I did that, because I, uh... And eaten badly, and uh, as a result, I was kind of frustrated. And besides, you know, Analondo is one of the most frustrating places in the game. So, I'll check and see the quality of that, and if it was shit, uh, I will do it with this character as well. And here we go for the Iron Golem wrong weapon. There we go. Let's see here. Now the question is, do I do it now or do I do it while he's... Yeah, I think I'll do it while he's throwing his wind, uh, wind slice at me. Do. There we go. Hopefully he is actually a bit... Uh, that does... Nothing and he picked me up and... Oh, well, at least he picked me up and slammed me to the ground in front of him and not... So apparently he's not very vulnerable to fire. He does jump back and there is a chance of staggering. Did that... why did that hit me? Okay, well, that was just bad luck. Yeah, that was just bad luck. Let's see here. Oh, yes, he staggered, staggered, staggered. Uh, I don't have my green blossom equipped. Okay, he's back to normal. Okay, so that's... Now the key is to keep yourself at the center of this little thing here, because if you're not, you're gonna fall off. And that's, as you might have guessed, bad. I dodged, I swear I dodged. Dodge, 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 dodge! There we go, that was last second. And let your stamina recover. And... You should be almost dead. Yeah. The important thing is... Stamina, if you're having trouble with it when you're doing this melee, and there he's dead. Oh well. 